October 2019, Zimbabweans took to the streets in their country, took a day off to announce to the world, to proclaim to the world that the sanctions from the United States and the United Kingdom for decades was crippling the economy. Other Southern African countries joined in the, in the statement. Today we hear that Zimbabwe, close to half of the 16 million population, is facing, Zimbabwe is facing acute food insecurity. It was blamed on drought. It was blamed on many things, except the elephant in the room. The gang up between the UK and the United States to sanction Zimbabwe for many reasons cooked up. But the major reason is that Zimbabwe was trying to get back lands that were stolen from the country almost a century now from white Zimbabweans or white Rhodesians as they were called then. Now China has stepped forward to stand with Zimbabwe to say we are going to help. <laughs> Many African countries have expressed concern re regarding the presence of China in the continent, but I did not see any of those African countries assisting Zimbabwe under the sanctions from the United States and the UK. Perhaps they were scared if we help Zimbabwe, maybe the United States and UK will be mad at us too. Please, you know what's the deal with the irony of it all? Following the proclamation that Zimbabwe is facing unprecedented full acute food shortage, oh, there's going to be a launch for food assistance and guess who is going to be up front to provide assistance on that food aid drive through food aid dumping into Zimbabwe. That will be the United States. So the United States sanctions Zimbabwe, cripples the economy, then leads the country into food aid dependency as a solution. Aid. <laughs> oh, aid.